hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide i hope you're doing well wherever you are sending you of course the purest of love and light god is for us who can be against us we're blessed and we are highly favored and we're anchored so welcome if it's your first time returning soul tribers new soul tribers thank you for your love and your support as always for liking sharing subscribing and your comments so for some of you it says you're a party so celebration event social gathering and then we have single alone isolation you're guarded lonely regret mistake guilt wrong choice apology wow so what i get from that at the back here and at the top it says liquid courage so somebody you're probably single you're gonna be invited to a party if you go you're gonna have a lot of regrets you're gonna have a lot of regrets Maybe somebody is drinking a lot or somebody will be there who will be drinking a lot. Who wants to get back together with you. This person is probably spying on you on social media. It's like they're waiting for the right time to kind of get a hold of you. This, this is a toxic relationship. It's like it's going to have you confused. This person has multiple choices multiple options this is a player here who is involved with third parties it's like spirit is asking you to surrender surrender release that connection let go off of it it's like for a lot of you you're gonna get signs and synchronicities or you're getting those that you need to probably not go this person could have ghosted you in the past as well. You could have dated that person. So maybe somebody who is drinking up a storm. Somebody is trying to get the, the courage to invite you out to a party. And if you go, it's like you're going to regret it you're going to be sorry that you did that wow okay see wow ten of pentacles so again you're probably gonna think or you're gonna think it's going to be happy some of you this could even be with your family it's like you know your family because again we have a lot of food here you see, so your family could be having a party too. And they want to invite you. See, Six of Cups, people in your past. Look, with the magician. Six of Cups with the magician. So these people, they could, you know, and we have here manifesting and there's a cup there. You know, these people could want to put something in your drink these people from your past I think it's it's about your happiness see the Sun with the four of a four of swords somebody wants to lay you to rest while wow. right behind it is the five of ones there's a lot of competition a lot of jealousy a lot of rivalry these people don't like you it's like for whatever is going on in your life, the sun talks about abundance, prosperity. I mean, we need the sun. Happy. For some of you, this is the clarity, the confirmation that you're getting. It's like, don't go. These people, they don't like you. It's like for some of you, there's a silent competition that you don't even know about. It could have something to do with a king of pentacles. Yeah. These people want you with the three of swords to be heartbroken. 
distraught. They want you to miss an opportunity. Again, five of swords. It's like they, they are in it to win it. Win at all costs. Somebody wants to compete. Somebody's jealous. They want, this person wants to be number one. And this is the truth. This is the truth. These people are collaborating. They're making plans in the background behind your back. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's like so, so straightforward. What is single all about? Yeah. So you could think these people are your family or you, you, you're that close. And they want to, they want to invite you out. And I'm asking who is single? Who is single here? And it's the Queen of Cups. So this is you. You're loving, you're caring, you're intuitive. And again, it's like trust your intuition. You're very creative. And people see the Nine of Swords. These people want to, they really want to torture you. Yeah, with the Two of Pentacles having you juggle. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Yeah, with the regret, see? Four of Cups. They want to distract you so you miss an opportunity. It's like you're out. You see, with all these cups here, you're drunk, you miss an opportunity. Wow. Yeah, with the moon, I'm telling you, they're planning things in secret. They're planning things in secret. It's so like, be careful. Be careful with that. Yeah, it's like with a hammer. It's like sabotage. These people, they're trying to sabotage. It could be a connection. Twin flames, see the Grim Reaper. They want the relationship to be over. It's this connection that you're supposed to be in, Queen of Cups. Something that's balanced. This is what they don't like. It's like right now you could be single, male or female. Again, guys, remember it's an energy. The Grim Reaper. They want you to lose this opportunity. I'm telling you. It says the relationship is over. That's what they want. It's like they want you to make a mistake so that you're guilty. You make the wrong choice. And it's like when you wake up, it's too late. See at the back here, it says seduction. So somebody wants to seduce you. It's like they want to get you caught up in a mess, a hot mess. Wow. Mm -hmm. See at the back here, it says choose wisely. like I'm hearing he that has here to hear let them hear I mean it's like your your enemies can't hurt you because you're gonna say you know how to stay far from your enemies right but your enemies will get with your friends and you have to be very careful too even your own blood family if they are close with your ex if they're close with people you're not close with they the your enemy can get through your family to you to hurt you they can for a lot of you you need to release see it says honest honest echoes listen to the whispers of your heart for you know the whole truth oh my goodness you know the truth. You're, you're the queen of cups here. You're intuitive. You're psychic. You know the truth. The honest echoes. Listen 
to the whispers of your heart. Trust your intuition. These people, they don't like you. They don't like you like that. So it may seem cool and all of this stuff, but they don't, they don't want you. They don't want you to make it to something. It says here, real promise, release the chains of the past and dance to the rhythm of possibility. It's like let go off of those people. For a lot of you, I'm telling you, the lesson for a lot of you to learn is not going back. Because a lot of these people, they're used to doing things and you would always come back. They can make things seem so nice. You know, they can make things seem so happy, happy. And then they completely throw you off the hedge. So you need to be very careful. 26, 8, 2024, 8. I mean, this is like real, real time here. Real time. Spirit is saying here, no illusion. Stay grounded in truth. Embrace in reality with clarity and wisdom to navigate life's journey authentically. Okay, it's like no time for the fantasy. Fantasy land. No illusion. Don't listen to the lies. Stay grounded in the truth. You are intuitive. You know. You know you have the clarity and the wisdom to navigate your life journey. To move away from people, places, and things that no longer serves you. Again, resurrection, shake off the past. Shake off the past and rise again. Reinvent yourself. It's like what is gone is gone. Yes, some people change, but with this reading here that I'm getting, a lot of people are strategizing. They're coming together to do something, but it's all because they want to mess you up. They want to use somebody in the past or they want to put something in your drink to get you drunk, messed up. So you, you will end up probably being drunk, sleep with somebody because with the seduction card here, you know, it's like for these people, it's like with the clock is like they're running out of time. It's like they, they are trying to get this done quickly with somebody who has many options, keys on a ring, you know, so they can get your heart broken. This person going to come in saying, I like you, all of this stuff with all these promises, you know, wanting to date you. Wow. But really, they want to stab you in the back. They want to stab you in the back. So it, it's either they want to plan something so they can put something in your food, in your drink to get rid of you. Because again, for a lot of you, happiness, sunshine, abundance, stability is coming into your life and they don't want that for you. Or they're going to have somebody get you drunk and then you miss you miss an opportunity you're gonna wake up with having a lot of regrets and you won't be able to be in the relationship that you're supposed to be in whatever connection you're supposed to be in spirit is saying rise above that is like you know the truth Mm. look inner vision cut through the fog of confusion with your power of discernment i can't make it up see at the back here and below it says see what is real is it like see what is real cut through the fog of confusion with your power of discernment see this is the thing that mess up a lot of people and i understand that a lot of people we want to think about and 
it's good love and light and all of this stuff but the truth is we also live in a dark world with dark people with people who are envious people who are jealous and some people may say oh too many of those um readings that have all of these things well it's because it's uh, it's happening and it's either that you are probably afraid of the truth you're a part of the problem or you're condoning the problem but God is going to open things up and I'm happy in a lot of my readings lately a lot of things are open and it's been exposed and it's in the light because people have been doing this is the year we are still in the, the year of clarity this is karma this is when this this we are still in this this time this season where a lot of people who have been doing things cloaking hiding in the dark everything is now blown open for everybody to see so i understand the people who are in the dark of the dark who are doing things they don't want to be caught they don't like these kind of readings because of course their cover is blown and as you can see this is why they're messing with my channel because these people are cowards they they want to do their evil deeds but they're afraid for for the truth to come out they don't want to be exposed because a lot of us are here telling the truth helping people to get back on track with their lives because too many people have been cheated and it's time that these people are you know it's like they're sidelined because they have been doing too much to hurt people you know spirit is saying it's time to take a spiritual retreat to go on your own he said it's time to take some alone time or be single to get a new perspective so maybe this is a relationship where you've been going back and forth been hot and cold and spirit is saying you need to take a break be single be alone so that you can get a new perspective so you can also heal for some of you this is confirmation you could have had somebody come back in the past see i broke the deck in half and at the bottom it said one last move so somebody's trying to make one last move and it's like with the hammer they want to make sure it's like they put that last nail in the coffin like they finish you off this time but spirit is also saying you have come far on your journey keep going you will soon see what you have accomplished because i'm telling you where you're going where you're going it's good and people don't like it they 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 won't like that for you yeah, for a lot of you, where you're going, you know, it's also going to be happy, happy. And this is what these people, they don't like that. They don't like that. For a lot of you, I mean, you're on your purpose. It's like you've been asking a lot of questions. You've been on a search. And it's like, for a lot of you, you're getting the answers as to why you're here. What your purpose is. You're very curious at this time and people want to throw you off of your path you know look the fates is like the stars are aligned for you again number eight and people with the 46 number 10 is like people want you to be in a pattern with the regeneration here where it's like you have to keep rebuilding starting all over again you miss opportunities And spirit don't want that for you. You know, it's like they want you to be at a fork in the road. These people don't want to be fear. They don't want to be feared for you. Spirit is saying it's time to clean up. You know, clean up, go to seas, like move away, go the distance. 
go and heal yourself go and heal yourself with the mending here because all that glitters is not gold you see that the mask the fakeness all that glitters is not gold you may look at these people as your families they don't see you in that light at all that's not the way that they see you these people want to sabotage you they want to block you from happiness and anything positive that's coming on in your life and i'm telling you it's like we've seen it over and over all the time all the time do you see this with the schedule like i said we saw the clock before these people are planning it says plan organize you see that with the net they're trying to get you caught up they're trying to get you caught up this is what this party is about we've seen it happen all the time where people go out with people they know or they thought that they knew to celebrate to throw parties and those are the same people who end up unalive in them the same people yeah because they want dictatorship over your life they want to dominate you it's like they want to it's like they want to see you like a puppet on a string pretty much that's what they want for this Queen of Cups here. Yeah. You have to be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. I mean, this is this is so clear. You know, this is definitely warning for somebody. See, nightmare. To clarify the Four of Cups, nightmare, suffering, darkness, persecution. This is what they want for you to live a nightmare. They want to turn your your entire world upside down because for a lot of you in the back here, you're too calm. For a lot of you, you're Zen, you're in your own world. And I'm telling you, they don't want you. They don't want you to have this family. There is something that's coming in your life that these people, they don't want you to have. They don't want you to get something. Yeah, see, eternal love. They don't want you to get eternal love. They want you to miss something. And this is why they are planning to trap you. They're planning to trap you. These people are actually, they are, they are protesting your happiness. They're protesting your happiness. They don't want you to be happy with this yin and yang for you to be ba have balance they don't want that wow mm -mm -mm. yeah they want you to have endings they don't want you to have anything original and this is why a lot of these people they is like once they get you messed up then they're gonna collect evidence on you they're going to collect evidence take pictures have proof to ruin your happiness that this is who you are because then you're inundated you're drunk you don't know what is happening you don't know what is going on look at this it's a collaboration it's a collaboration to cause a natural disaster spirit is saying think about it trust your intuition for a lot of you you're hesitating it's like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're thinking, should I go? But Spirit is saying, it's like, don't listen to your ego. There's a devil and there's an angel on your, sh on, on, on your shoulder. It's like, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Because I'm telling you, it's like when they're done with you, you're going to be like Samson. You're going to be left without your eyes, without your vision. And without a vision, you will perish. These people, I mean, we saw the sun. It's like they want to have you blinded. They want to have you blind. Spiritually or physically. 
but it's like when they're done with you it's like you're confused you're feeling you're you're unsure of yourself it's kind of like there is no comeback from this that's what i'm getting here wow that is so straightforward so straightforward mm, the last straw the final in Tarlbury event for a lot of these people this is the last straw it's like God is finished with them he's tired of them and their foolishness it's like for them to go this far this is the last straw seven that's God's perfect number of completion it's like he's at his breaking point with these people now. Yeah. For a lot of you, you and these people, your spirit is saying when it comes to them, it's like be cautious, extremely cautious. It's like walking on eggshell with them because when you're finished, you're going to be crying over spilt milk, but it's going to be too late because the mistake is already made it's already gone it's like these people have done enough god is not happy this is their last straw and for a lot of you whatever that they whatever it is that they have done you need to just turn a negative or a challenging situation into a positive one it's like learn from it turning lemons into lemonade It's like stay home and make your own lemonade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these people, what they're saying is like, they think you're easy. Piece of cake. They think that you're easy. You're naive, you're gullible. It's, it's easy to trick you. You're going to fall for it. For a lot of them, they're going to come to you, like you said, walk on eggshell, very nice, very friendly, you know, as if they, you know, they're, they're loving because they see you're in this loving energy. So they're going to come to you nice. They're faking it. Because we see here the puppet on the string. They think that they can manipulate you. They think you're an easy, easy mark. You're a piece of cake. So they can do whatever they want. Mm. Spirit is like, think smart. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. It's better to have something guaranteed than to risk losing it for something uncertain. So these people, this person, they are uncertain. They want to cause you disaster. They want your life to fall apart. It's like you know that God has something great for you. It's like wait. Wait on it wait on it because these people they they really have a plan for you they want to set you up really bad it's like wait it's like don't be too anxious to entertain somebody some people who don't mean you any good you know it's kind of like wait in due time you'll have your soul family in due time you will be able to do the things you want to do. So it's like, don't, because you think that you're lonely and you're single, just put yourself out there and then you end up being around the wrong people who are going to hurt you because you're thinking, well, I might as well go ahead with him or her or them. Why am I waiting here? And then those people, him or her, they are the ones who are going to take you out. Wow. I, I mean, I think that is that is so clear, so to the point, you know, that, yeah, 
I mean, this is, I don't know, it's not for everybody, but I know it's for somebody. It's either a confirmation that it happened in the past. It could be something that you're going through or coming up for you right now, or it will be. You know, again, you have ear to, ears to hear, let you need to hear, because whatever this is, we've seen the card, all that glitters is not gold. You know, it's, yeah, be very careful. And again, even taking things, your own family will take things or something from your enemy to give to you. This is why I said that quote that says, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I don't know about that. Because like once I know that you're my enemy, no. And if my friend is friends or my families are friends with the enemy, no. You know, it's no. Because again, your enemy... You're, we're taught to be afraid of the enemies, be afraid of strangers. But a lot of the times it's the people who are inside or around us. They are the ones who will hurt us the most. For a lot of you, people are envious, jealous of you, and you don't even know it. So I hope that this helps. Until next time, take care.